Florida is going through some things. Not only has Florida lost a huge chunk of their fruit and vegetable pickers, their construction workers, their home repair workers, their road repair workers, their roofers, um, the ladies that work at the hotel that clean up the hotel for you. So at, after you're done touristing in Florida, you come back to a nice, fresh, clean bed. All of those workers have skedaddled. In addition to that, Florida is having a problem down in South Miami getting gas. This is as a result of a storm that came through weeks ago. And in addition to that, you are seeing empty shelves in some of the grocery stores down in Florida because the truckers are refusing to haul goods and products to Florida. And where is the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis? Here he is. He's out on the campaign trail trying to drum up support for his um, run for the presidency in addition to his tour for his book. His state is a disaster and he's having a good time. I wonder what is so funny. From what I understand, there is a protest scheduled in June. I forget the date. I want to say June 1st, June 8th, but don't hold me to that. Y'all put the date to the protest down below. They are calling for black and brown people to come together to protest together in the state of Florida. Mm. I'm going to leave you with this. Elections have consequences. When you go to vote, you need to understand and pay attention to what these people are telling you. Ron DeSantis told you what he was planning to do. And now that he's doing it, there's a whole bunch of people down in Florida sitting with their mouth gapped open. Pay attention to what these candidates are telling you and what their plans are. And then vote accordingly. This right here. What I believe is going to happen is eventually what's going on down in Florida will soon affect the rest of us. We won't be readily able to get fresh fruits and vegetables. And if we can't get them, they will be at an astronomical cost. And once those skyrocketed costs affect the rest of us outside of the state of Florida, the Republican Party will blame Joe Biden for it. And then that's where people like me come in. We will be here to remind all of these individuals who try to blame Joe Biden for the skyrocketing cost of produce. We'll be here to remind everyone that, no, this is not Joe Biden's fault. This is the Florida governor's fault, Ron DeSantis, because he was too busy running for president. He was too busy fighting with Mickey Mouse. He was too busy attacking the LGBTQIA community. He was too busy fighting wokeism. He was too busy banning African-American history. He was too busy attacking the LGBTQIA community. He was too busy attacking drag queens. He was too busy meddling in families and who are dealing with transgender children. He was too busy doing all of these things and not focused on the taxpayers of Florida and how to make life better for them. We'll be here to remind everyone that this is Ron DeSantis's fault. Mm -hmm. And then we need to make sure that Ron DeSantis is held accountable. Thank you for watching my video and please make sure that you're following me on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram.